Alright you guys, welcome back to another match play. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at a quick game, one of the, one of the few... Oh, sorry, the lower half of the bracket actually had some quicker ones, like some donks here and there and that sort of thing. Uh, so we're going to be taking a look at Dawn Fan versus Cradley. Um, this is one where I was really hyped for. I was so excited for this Cradley deck. And uh, Dawn Fan is, is also an another fun deck, I, you know... It's not as exciting as Cradley, but it is a it is another one of those unique decks that you don't see much. But this game just did not pan out the way that I anticipated it. So we'll go ahead and watch what happens here. I did get this perfect um, the Mewtwo start, which is what you need. Uh, what the Mewtwo does is uh, it's got Psychic Erase. For one energy, you can choose one of your opponent's attacks and they can't use it. So if I had gone first, I think this would have been way more busted because he wouldn't be able to use all these evolutions. Um, and see, even I got this uh, the Sages where I get the leap into the discard pile. And that's like what you need so you can put it on the bottom. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and Psychic Erase the, um, the evolution here. So he's not going to be able to evolve uh, via um, Darkness Grace, which is 100% like... If I had gotten that turn one, it would have been just, ah, oh, see, the Porygon 2 wouldn't have even been a thing. So, and he would have only been with one supporter, which he did anyways, but. Trevor comes out, Trevor most likely going to grab either Valtoy, yep, I was like either Valtoy or um, Oopsie of some sort, who knows. Uh, the item lock from him is very bad right now, actually, because of, uh, uh, I'm not able to uh, play down any mysterious fossils or anything like that. So I need that strange cave. It's the only way to get it out under item lock, is strange cave. Uh, and that's one of the bad parts about Cradley as well. Cradley does have a lot of just inherent not greatness with it. So there's a lot of stuff about it that's just not good. Um, and that's one of them is that if they start if they start this item lock the only way of getting out of Strange Cave. Or like Lysander or Hex or something like that, you know. Uh, but Rainbow Energy comes down, which is kind of funny, even though I've been psych I've been uh, erasing uh, Darkness Grace, he can now attach this Rainbow Energy and use Will of the Wisp for 10 damage a turn. Uh, kind of a weird battle there. Uh, problem is he's getting set up and I'm not. I need this... Uh, I need uh, a way to get... Uh, uh, Cradley out. Um, so the multi-energy there, I think what I would, I was considering dealing 30 to him so that he can't dart disgrace anyways, and I think that might have been, I should have been swifting, like I should have attached the, the multi-energy. But the fire energy was in case he gets the knockout, I have a way to retreat him, so... Uh, Babies goes for uh, Claydol, even though I've been erasing his evolutions, he now has both of his supporter Pokemon out. Uh, just needs an energy down on that Dawn Fan to start uh, taking knockouts. And uh, the worst part about it is, oh, he doesn't get an energy, so. Oh, he decides to take back the Will of the Wisp. Because he forgot to Claydol. He realizes, oh, wait, I can Claydol. And I saw an energy in his hand. So. This is probably going to be, oh no, just another Will of the Wisp, an attachment and no, no attack. Maybe Mewtwo's actually not weak to, I don't think Mewtwo's weak to um, fighting. It's lightning type, but it's not weak to fighting because it's a Mewtwo, so never mind. That's me being silly. Uh, there's the blend energy, see, so if I would have attached, I still would have been able to, to use Swift. I could have had the knockout. Uh, but here's a retreat. Floatstone, he's now going to start getting set up. He can play item cards now. Um, and most likely just going to spin right back into that clay hole. The Floatstone was the worst thing that I could have seen right there. The absolute worst thing. Because now he can just keep going to that and I'll never be able to set up Cradley. And that's just kind of how this game worked. Is that uh, in any other, in any uh, against any other deck, there's no like hit and switch into this item lock. So... I could have gotten Cradley out had he just retreated out of it, and I can play down a Mysterious Fossil and that sort of thing and eventually evolve over to Cradley. But since it is Dawn Fan, and since you can just switch into this item lock over and over and over again, um, it just puts me at such a disadvantage. Just I can never get the I can never get my my uh, 
uh, my strategy running. So, and there's the spinning turbo, the item lock. All I have is this battle toy, draw cards. Uh, broken time space might help me, maybe, if I can get uh, the um, if I can get the uh, the strange cave out. I guess I don't know. The broken time space, I, I just need a lot. And, and here's an Uxie for a couple. Just not drawing in anything. The Baltor doesn't help at all. It does 30 and switches. So. But he's he is more than in control of this game right now. Um, Mallow most likely going to grab um, Guzma. Going to knock out that uh, Baltor. Um, I think that's just like the smart play to do here. Just because... A, the Ux doesn't have a retreat, like a way to retreat, and uh, it takes out the Claydol out, you know, if I'm not trying to draw any cards here. Attachment, there's a, there's just stuff going down so that he can get the two cards he mallowed for. Uh, let's see what he does grab. Looks like uh, oh, escape rope instead of, uh, escape rope instead of Lysander, so... And uh, there's my dead hand. Can't play any items, and he's gonna come up and wreck for game. So yeah, uh, the item, the spinning turn, and the item lock is just a hard counter. We realized uh, just kind of the way the matchup works. I think Cradley is a is a decent deck at least, but being able to spin into that item lock never really uh, did any favors for Cradley. So yep, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.